recording. There we go. Anyway, so hey world, really, really interesting story I have for you. At least I think it's interesting. I I I, I could be wrong. Um, yesterday, in my my barefoot wanderings, I saw a man in a wheelchair uh, sitting beside. I think it was the Bank of America building, I'm not sure. And anyway, dude was freezing his ass off. He was shaking violently. And I look at him, you know, as I'm approaching him, he only has one leg. I'm thinking, oh shit. And he asked me if I wanted to donate any money to disabled veterans. I'm like, okay. One of the charities that I really support is, is the whole disabled veteran thing. I'm like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll give you some money because you gave your leg. So, you know, you're welcome to my dollar. So, you know, I'm thinking, wow, dude is really, really cold. So, you know, I'm thinking, okay, is he homeless? You know, he's probably starving. So I run back to my dorm, grab a bag full of like little snack food, you know, some Nutrigrain bars and, you know, some popcorn and, some Ritz crackers, stuff like that, throw in a bottle of water, and he comes sprinting back and he's gone. I'm like, oh motherfucker. Fuck. And you know, I I see him you know, I, I I'm running all over the place, like all around the block, you know, a couple times trying to find this guy going through CVS and all that. I'm like, shit. Damn, I lost him, you know. I was like, I really wanted to give that guy some food, you know guilty of only giving him a dollar. Anyway, so again, in my barefoot wanderings today, I see this guy off in the distance in the same spot. And I'm thinking, all right, you know, what do I have? I had a penny. And I said, you know, hey, you know, I remember you from yesterday. And I said, um, you know, you need some food? And he said, you know, yeah, yeah. I was like, all right, well, I'm going to grab some food from my dorm. You know, and, and, you know, of course, of course he asks about the no shoes, and I, I tell him why, and, you know, shows a little interest, but I say, you know, I'll, I'll be back in, like, 10, 15 minutes. You still going to be here? Because, you know, because I, I, I told him that I came back yesterday, and he's like, oh, you did? And I was like, yeah, I was looking for you. I brought you some food. And, you know, I was like, oh, you know, really appreciated that. So, again, I go sprinting off to my dorm. Hoping, like, I hope this guy stays here. I doesn't think I'm some, like, douche that's just pulling his leg. No pun intended. Anyway. So. I go to my dorm, pack the same kind of food things as yesterday. And run down there to see him again. And I'm like, oh, sweet. Okay, he's still there. That's good. Alright, cool. I so, say, you know, I, I brought... And, you know, I brought you in some food, you know, and, and he said, you know, are you going get, to get along well without it? And I said, don't worry about it. I have a meal card, and you know, I, I, I use that to feed myself. Speaking of which, I haven't eaten today, and it's 4.30 in the evening. I really should eat something. Anyway, so, you know, and then I, I, I sit down with the guy, you know, and he you know, we get a little bit more about, about the uh, no shoes. And I said, yeah, it's because of my back pain, you know. I had back pain my whole life, and you know, all of a sudden it, it's gone because I didn't wear shoes. I told him how, and he said, oh, that's really cool. I came back on a ripstick. He asked a little bit about that, you know, how, how I balance on two wheels and how, how they spin around and pivot and all that sort of thing. And, you know, he says, yeah, that's a real trip that it does. I said, yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, so he tells me about, um, you know, he mentions in, in our little conversation about losing his leg in Nam, Vietnam people, um, and he tells me a bit of the story behind it and says he did six tours in Vietnam, um, which, I mean, wow, first of all, did six tours in Vietnam and he was a sergeant and on what I can assume to be his, his sixth tour, his last tour, he was, um, he mentioned being part of, part of a bomb defusing squad, and there was a, a baby 
with a, a, some sort of explosive below it. And um, he says, you know, as, as an American, the, the first instinct is to pick up said baby. And apparently there was, uh, you know, some large amount of plastic explosive beneath it. And it, it blew his leg off and he landed in a tree. And he said, you know, two days later, he fell down out of the tree. And, you know, it, his, him and his men all pulled back the wounded behind their lines, and he got the Medal of Honor for it. I'm thinking, wow, that is amazing. So, you know, I, I want to look up this guy, because there are only so many Medal of Honor recipients. I'm sure somewhere has posted, you know, why they got it. And, you know, so this guy comes back, and, and he says that, you know, they were spit on, you know, as, as, as you know, being Vietnam people. I mean, who spits on a guy with one leg that he lost in a war? And the worst part is, he was drafted. And, you know, he, he gave all of this and he gets, he gets spit on for it. So he, li he lived down in Mexico because, I mean, it was just it was awful here. He says he has, you know, problems with Agent Orange and you know, the, the government's screwing him out of his benefits. He told me he's a millionaire on paper. But here he is, you know, in his wheelchair begging for change. You know, he's still in this big legal battle to try to get something for it. His, his rent's $500, you know, like gets $600, I, I assume, like a week or a month or something. I'm thinking, wow, that is totally despicable that this dude is not getting, you know, everything he deserves for what he did. He said he saved a hundred of his men because it, it, it was a platoon of a, not platoon. So it, it was a group of like 140 or something like that, and then I only lost 44, which was supposed to be some record. So, wow. Um, you know, I, we have more conversations with this guy about how I love history and how my dad and I found a plane, you know, near, near the Naval Air Station, buried in, 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 the, um, in the dirt. How I cleaned up forts with my dad and got Lyme disease, and he's like, "Oh yeah, Lyme disease, that one's bad." And I said, "Yeah, I mean, it's it really screwed me up when I was younger. I'm good now for the most part, though. Especially in some up shoes on, no more back pain. Try it, people. But you know, back to the subject. Like, holy crap! I, like, I just can't believe that guy isn't getting you know every sort of payment he deserves." It just doesn't seem right. But, you know, so he comes down there, you know, all the time to, you know, try to make some more money. And, you know, he, he um, I, I, I found him, you know, within about 45 minutes of him going, you know, back on, on the bus in, in through CVS to warm himself up. And he started wheeling himself over there. I asked him if he needed any, any help with the door, and he said, "You know, no. That, thanks for everything." I said, "You know, you know, you know. It was a pleasure talking to you." And he he says he's probably going to be here early tomorrow. So I'm thinking, you know, all right, maybe I'll I'll zip down there earlier tomorrow and see if I can find him and get, you know talk to him a little bit, bring him some more food. Because I mean, I have a lot of of food in my dorm that. You know, it really isn't my kind of food, but, you know, he said, you know, he, he'll, he'll like it. You know, I, I, I said, you know, I hope you like the food. He said, oh, I will. And I said, you know, all right. You know. So, yeah, that was my recent little excursion today, going out and around and meeting that guy. So... You know, next time you see a disabled veteran, you know, especially missing a limb, you know, don't just pass them by. At the very least, talk to them or give them some food. So, you know, that's what I say for the day. Um, taking a stencil class at like six o'clock. And I'll probably post something like that, something about that on my blog. So you guys know the website, it's down below. Well, just remember, 
remember that guy's story, and I'm gonna try to really try to look him up and find him, because I, I remember his name. I think it was Will. It, it it was a very very short name. He didn't give his last name, but um, you know, if this guy hasn't written memoirs, they they need to be written, because wow. Anyway, this is a very long video, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off right now. So, uh, bye world.